Hello everyone, my PS4 fat is aging pretty good, however, it needs some cleaning and that's what I'm going to do in this video. The console is working but became a bit noisy and cleaning it, I should be able to use it few more years in perfectly working condition. Before starting anything, remember to keep all your screws organized, so the assembly process will be much easier. At first, let's remove the plastic cover where is hiding the hard disk drive. I simply slide it. Now with the Philips screwdriver, I remove this screw with PlayStation symbols. At the back of the console, we have four stickers hiding Torx TR8 security screws. I have to remove all these for getting access to those screws. Warranty will be void, however, that expired a long time ago. Now with the Torx TR8 screwdriver, I remove all these screws. I simply lift the bottom plastic cover. As we can see, the cooler fan is quite dusty. We'll remove all parts, but let's begin with the power supply. We have three Torx TRA screws and two Phillips screws. I swap the screwdriver and I go for the two remaining screws. I unplug this cable. And now I simply lift it, so I can remove it. Depending on how dusty is your power supply, you can simply use a vacuum or you can disassemble it. There are these two screws, one here and another one here. Now, let's unplug all these cables. It's quite impossible to unplug the ribbon cable without causing any damage. It's meant to be like this. Don't be worried, just be gentle with it. Now I'll first remove the Wi-Fi, then the Blu-ray drive. So we have this screw here. For the Blu-ray drive, we have this Philips screw here, and this Torx TR8 here. Now there's another Torx TR8 here. 
and another Phillips screw here. Behind all these cables lays one more screw that needs to be removed. Same on the other side, those ribbon cables are meant to be like this. And here is the screw I was talking about. Now on the other side, for removing the plastic cover, we have these two screws. I lift it and I slide it to the back. Here we have 12 Torx TRA screws, all of them needs to be removed. and two Phillips screws are holding the tension metal plate, so I have to remove both of them. On the other side, there's one more Phillips screw holding the motherboard. This one. Now I can remove the metal plate. I'm making sure all thermal pads are in their place. I unplug the cooler fan by simply lifting up. And now I can remove the motherboard. Here I see some thermal pads are there, but two of them are not. But they're here, so I'm not worried. Now here we have three Phillips screws. There's quite some dust and most of the time this is causing all the noise, I will clean it later. For removing the cooler fan we have these two Phillips screws. So now I have everything disassembled and I can start the cleaning. Cotton swabs, cotton wool pads, toothsticks and rubbing alcohol are everything I need. On the motherboard I'm using a soft brush so I don't do any damage.
you can wash the plastic case if you want to. Now I apply the new thermal paste and I can start the assembly. I reconnect the cooler fan. Here I put all the screws back excepting these two. Those are for the plastic cover. So I have all 12 Torx TR8 screws. Now with the Phillips screwdriver. I put the tension metal plate back in its place. Those are the required screws. On the other side I have the last remaining screw for holding the motherboard. This one is the black Phillips screw and the cable for the power supply. Here Let's not forget about this torque screw. I reconnect the ribbon cable from the side where it was not damaged when I unplugged it. Now I put the Wi-Fi back in its place. and I reconnect all the cables. The cable management should look like this. I put the power supply back. It goes with the cable connector on the left side. Now one flip screw goes here, one torque screw here, another Phillips here and one torque here. I reconnect the power supply.
And now I put back the plastic cover by sliding from the back to the front and pushing it on the corners. And the hard disk with its Philips screw with PlayStation symbols. The last plastic cover goes on the bottom. Simply slide it from the back to the front. And the last remaining four Torx TRA screws. This is it. My PlayStation 4 is clean and ready to play for the next couple of years. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.